everyone. Good morning. I hope you had a good spring break and that it was restful for you. Uh, I know you guys have a lot of work for your classes or it feels that way because you're not in an actual class. It feels like it's taking up your whole life. So I'm glad you had that week to rest and to recharge. And um, now that we're back in class, I wanted to show you guys um, really quickly this new assignment that I posted. Um, what it is that you are um, supposed to be doing with it. So we haven't used Padlet before. Maybe a few of you might have used it in a different class. Um, it's a really cool application that you can use to discuss with others and um, <clears throat> and share work, especially uh, with others, but so that everyone can see it. Because when you submit something to me, I can see it, and that's good especially when things are a little bit more private, like if it's like, what are you doing every day? Um, you might not want everyone to know, but when we're sharing things like posters or um, answers to questions, it's kind of nice if other people can see it too, so that we can talk about it as a class since we're not um, you know, able to see each other right now. So the first thing that you'll want to do is go into your Google Classroom. I'm in second period right now. And uh, remember that you'll want to go into where it says classwork, right? And then, um, as you guys know, you're going to go into the online learning for the fourth quarter. It might be slightly different for your class, but that's where you want to go. And all the way at the bottom, you have to press view more because we have a lot of things under that category. And I like to keep them in order so that you have the last one all the way at the bottom. Um, you're going to see the Padlet practice assignment. So you can click on that. Okay, or if you're looking at your online learning schedule, then you'll have that open. And then you'll scroll down to today. That's all the way at the bottom. And they'll tell you Tuesday. Um, History in Action, by the way, if you didn't notice, it says new on there. Um, you should be using the new um a document that I created with the new dates. The other one stops at spring break, and so I created a brand new one um, that starts up from yesterday, uh, which is was April 20th, and it will go through the end of the year. So make sure that you're clicking on this new link. It says new history and action. But anyway, back to what we were doing. Um, you will go into complete. Well, the question is, I'm sorry, the number two is complete the practice Padlet. And you'll see that there's a link for it. So you'll press on your period down here and it will take you to this, which is the Google Classroom um, information. So, sorry, it will take you to this, which is the information on Google Classroom. For yours, again, it looks different than for me, but it'll look similar to this and it says, hello students. Um, so watch the video first. It's asking you to watch the video first. It just kind of walks you through some of the things that you need to know for Padlet. And then if you have any questions, let me know. And then I'm going to add this video here so you'll see my video too. And then they'll say, um, then you get to click on the link. So you'll click on the link. For you guys, it's going to be different. It's going to ask you to make an account. Please make your account with your school email. Um, don't use your private email. Use your school email. Um, that way your name will show up automatically the way that it's supposed to and you can get credit for your work. <coughs> Excuse me. And then um, once you're here, you're gonna wanna create with this little plus sign, you're gonna create a new post. And then what you need to do is you need to put, um, you need to write or type your name and period. Then you're gonna write something So you're going to tell me about your spring break and then you're going to have to add a picture. So to add a picture, you're going to go where it says upload, unless you have a picture somewhere else and you can use some of these other things like link it or something, but you're going to upload. And then I already uploaded this picture, but you would just pick a file and then go to the right folder folder. Sorry. And then you'll click on the one that you want and then you'll put that in here. And you're done. I mean, you should have at least two sentences. And 
and then you just click away from it and it's there. And um, you guys, there's a comment section, com comment section, and then there's a rate section. Um, if you are in my Spanish classes, then you need to be writing this in Spanish, okay? Or I should say my GLA classes. Anyway, um, then come back during the week and see what other people have posted. I would like you guys to add at least one comment somewhere in one star or something along the way. Um, and that way you can kind of see what your friends are up to as well. Anyway, we will be using this for class at other times, so I wanted you guys to get used to it, okay? If you have any questions, let me know.